Hi, this is Kyle Cook with Bear Creek Photography NC. I'm here to present your next assignment. This month the theme of your images is abstract. Abstracts can be interpreted in many ways. In case you haven't been reading our blogs, Melissa and I touched on this subject in our blogs this past month. Here are the links so you can read up. What? You don't read our blogs? Abstracts can be macro images or very close up images, but not all macro images are abstract. Abstracts can be made of part of a whole object that by itself can't necessarily be recognized unless you see the entire object. Does that make sense? Abstracts let your imagination go wild. You can take an ordinary object and turn it into an abstract. That usually involves taking only a part of the object and focusing in on that one part. You can process it to be more abstract than it already is. There are no rules as to how you can make your abstract, so have some fun. You can move the object itself, you can move, swirls, wipes, squiggles, zigzags, up and down. You can process with crazy colors and effects until it's pleasing to you. Here are some examples of how we made some abstracts to give you some ideas. This first abstract is a reflection of colorful fall trees in a waterfall pool, giving the image its squiggles. Even a headlight on your car can become an abstract work of art. A little magic help from Topaz Studio added a little zing. A common kitchen whisk, again, made a bit more interesting with some color and Topaz Studio effects. Often, I slow down the motion with a slower shutter speed when I shoot water. This one I kept the rougher texture by using a faster shutter speed. Again, these are colorful New Hampshire trees reflected in running water. Again, my Subaru. This time the tail lights, a little magic from Topaz Studio. Falling water becomes abstract streaks when isolated. Multiple shots on one exposure while twirling the camera gave Melissa this colorful image. Playing in Topaz Studio this time with some etched glass from my front door. This abstract is multiple shots taken on the same slide while moving the camera in short upward or downward movements. So you see there are many techniques that you can employ to make interesting abstracts. Now go out there, find something to shoot, and make an abstract out of it. As always, if you have any questions, just ask us. Your assignment is due November 2nd by the stroke of midnight.